Hey folks and welcome back to 42 GS2 and I'm delighted to be joined in Henning's downstairs studio today by Guillaume from Blue Cat Audio and by my lovely buddy Sam Bell. It's lovely, lovely to have you here man. Uh, so here um, we have software um, to manage your guitar tone from replacing your pickups virtually in the box. Right, wow. Up to um, simulating uh, the room for uh, when you're working on headphones. Okay. And in between you have uh, all the effects you need like chorus, phaser, uh, distortion pedals, all yeah. that stuff. Uh, amp simulation of course. Um, uh, we have uh, reverbs, uh, we have a very um, crazy de delay. Uh, with uh, built-in effects, so you can uh, create some uh, delays with effects and reverbs with effects inside of it. Right, okay. So it's it's the whole range from your guitar up to the... Uh, I'm recording. really interested in that idea of changing pickups. Yep. So you can make this guitar sound like it's at, it's got single coils in, like a, a telly or something. Sure. Mm -hmm. Is that, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Wow. That's right. Put some P90s in there if you want. P oh, I love a P90, especially when we get to the dirt tones. That is actually <laughs> a little bit freaky because that really felt like this was a P90 pickup. Yeah, you want some dirt on it? Yeah, let's try a, let's try a plexi tone. A plexi tone. Uh, or what do you think? Definitely, you said it felt felt like so. It's not just sounding. No, it, it, I don't know what it sounds like because the way that we're monitoring in here, mm -hmm. um, but it the response playing response yeah. from the tone coming back definitely sounded and felt like a. I think it's unique P90. to this particular. I've played a lot of plugins. Yeah and it can easily feel like you get a great sound but you feel detached from what's actually coming out of the speaker. Exactly, and also one thing I'm noticing is what is the latency because it doesn't feel like there is any latency. It's very short, I mean you, you cannot feel it because it's as if the, the, the amp was like one or two meters away. Yeah, yeah wow, okay so you give me a plexi tone now have you? Yeah. <laughs> Responsive as well, when I like yeah, to picking. What do you think of this Blue Cat Audio software? It's it this doesn't feel like any latency, and when you change the pickups in this, lovely my back by the way. That's mine by the way. I know it's yours. That's mine back. <laughs> <laughs> what do you like? No, I, I can't feel I, I can feel a P90 and I can feel I mean oh God. <laughs> It's, if you actually played a P90, it would be different. Henning, hold on, hold on, mate, hold on. Look, I'll put my mask on, then you can take that silly tea towel off. There you go. Uh, well, we do it this way. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> you, I, it's P90-ish. I think it's all an estimate. I wouldn't play this if I actually had a P90 guitar. Of course, of course. But. If I'm in a studio situation, I'm in a recording situation and I really have one guitar with me, this will give me a much more bigger variety than my one guitar will do. Or even in a live situation, because you can use this live. Absolutely. Uh, if I'm there with my Strat and I need a little bit more heft from the bridge pickup, would it replace uh, an actual guitar with a humbucker? No, but 
to widen the possibilities of your limited guitar collection, which yeah. I clearly have. My guitar collection is very limited. <laughs> um, you know, I mean, oh, if you only have two or three guitars and and you don't have a Filtertron or something, yeah, and you want to get a little bit in that direction, it's not going to give you Filtertron, but it's going to give you Filtertron-esque sounds. And is is that accurate? That's right. And, and the thing is, you can also apply that after the fact. So, if you get a recording with one guitar, and in the end, you would like to have the same. Uh, solo or whatever uh, track you played, but with a different sound, you can change it after it's been recorded. If you have the DI, yeah, I don't record DI sounds. No, I I, a... I pick the sound, I stick with it, that's it. I I, I don't do reamping stuff. I can see this being really really useful for a, a session player that wants to take one guitar, one piece of software, and get every amp tone and every pickup possibility. But whether or not they would do that in a studio environment. Mm, Usually you have more guitars, but I mean, it's, yeah. I think for home recording stuff and you have Perfect. A, a Strat and maybe nothing else or a, a one or two other guitars, yeah. it definitely widens your possibilities. And you might fall in love with P90 sounds and then actually buy a P90 guitar. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm gonna find my mask now. Go and find your mask. Thank yeah. you, Henning, so much for joining us there, Mr. Henning Pauly. And I can take this off again now so that you can hear me. I, I think, in terms of being able to change pickups on the guitar, you can have one guitar and this will do the changes. You don't need an amp at all because you've got such a range of amps on here. Yes. Um, it's a little bit, and, I, and I'm sorry to jump in on another product, but it's a little bit like the Synergy amp situation where they've got those little tiny modules that you can plug in and out, but this is all done just on a computer. So, you know, again, well, horses for courses. You can actually create your amp yeah. as well from the the tube sections and, and the dampening and all the extra stuff behind the actual chassis of the amp, so right. to speak. So you not only have the amp model. So you've got like, you can decide on what um, uh, transformers you're using, what tubes you're using and, and all that. How the distortion responds to your playing. So what Guillaume's about to show you yeah. is how the overdrive character. Yeah, so you, you can actually uh, completely change the way the uh, amp simulation works. Okay. It's not um, electrical stuff. You don't change the tubes, and but what you change is the actual response of the amp. Okay. So it's much more... Um, so it's a little bit like the IRs on a cab, but, yes, but exactly. using that with the amp. Yeah, exactly. And okay. and you can change the way it reacts to your playing. So you said it, it was kind of a dynamics. Um, if you look at the at the amp here, when yeah. you play, you can see the curves are moving. It's adapting to what you're playing. So if you play very smoothly, there's not much distortion. And if you, play, if you hit harder... Uh, so if you want to change the way it reacts to your playing here, you can adjust all the parameters. Or if you don't want to bother with that, there's a much simpler solution. Okay. That's called tone maps. Tone maps? Okay. This, this is what I was talking about. Yeah, you so were saying. So rather than having to go through all the preset menus, you can, well, game or show yeah, you. It's very you can actually load yeah. some presets, which are amp models actually yeah. uh, onto a 2D map and then you can navigate there and morph between the sounds so that you find your actual tone without knowing anything about the parameters and, and wow. there's no nothing to dial in you just move the mouse I'm going to show you or, or get somebody else to move the mouse for you ideally yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's tricky to move a mouse while you're playing but wow so they get some crunch sounds for example <laughs> Preset and you save it, and you, your name will be there. And then you, yeah. okay, that's real. And it, was it changing amps as well as the the tone and the settings? Yeah, it's changing changing all the settings of the amps. So it's basically different models, uh, and you can see it behind wow. if, if I move. Away. So how many models are there there? 
An so infinite you, number, because since you can create your own and edit all the parameters... Uh, yeah, but what, 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 what's the tone map itself? Um, what, what range of amps is it based on? What? You just select the ones you want. So here I have some okay. pre loaded some presets there, yeah. but you can create your own map. So okay. in this one that I was just playing through, what, what, what were they based on? Uh, several crunchy amps, like uh, uh, many different uh, ones actually. That's the reason why it was changing that much. Okay, right. But you can also create your own map. You take the presets you like. Yeah. Like, uh, let's say I like this one and this one and this one. I'm going to add them to the map. And of course, and you so can't call them the actual names of the amps because that's not allowed. But Exactly, yeah. Uh, and so it's computing the relationship between the amps. Right. And so when some amps are close to each other, it means that they should sound a bit similar. Yeah. And so, well, let's try it out. I have no idea what I'm doing here. I, I know I'm playing the same thing over, but I think that actually it gives you a better idea Definitely. Yeah. of what, what that's actually doing. That is incredible. So you, you basically, you have got the ability to move, put in as many amps, amp models as you like, and then mix and meld them to bring together your perfect amp. Exactly. That's the idea. That's, that is, that's mega. That that's that's unique as well. I don't know of anything else that does okay. that. That's right. Yeah. Is that a big right? thing. And I think you were saying about use at home recording. Yeah. If you're writing demos and you just need to go, I need to get that thing. And if you're going through amp models, is that one? Is it that one? Yeah. With that, you just it's intuitive. Or more importantly, if you've got a certain tone in your head, yes. and I struggle with this with the axe all the time because I, I'm not like really proficient at programming, but I know that it's somewhere between say a JCM eight hundred and a Friedman BE100, mm -hmm. and I'm looking for that kind, of, that kind of middle tone, I can just put those two into the modeler, get somebody to move the mouse around, because I want to play and feel it, um, and get somebody to move the mouse around, and I can actually find that exact tone that I'm after. Mm -hmm. That's really versatile, very, very versatile. Okay, what else does it do? So this one is a, is a feedback simulator, right. so it means that you can create some acoustic feedback, but in the box, even with headphones. Actually, that's really interesting. I'm going to take you a step back, if I may. We did pickups. Will this do an acoustic tone? Oh, it does. Yes. Can you we want to try that? Yeah. Let's just 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 have a noodle on that. Did you? Yeah, that's I've tried the acoustic. Yeah. It will be. Mm -hmm. I don't so, think there's many. I don't know. If there's many plug guitar plugins like this that do acoustic. No. But it, it, and have the other amps as well. So this. Absolutely. And if it, I'd like to be interested to see what. What a my back guitar with <laughs> a pair of humbuckers in would sound like as an acoustic. So you just need to put the uh, neck pickup. Neck pickup, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and let's see. So it, it's difficult to tell monitoring here. Yeah, I'll be perfectly honest. Um, I, I can still hear. Obviously, I'm hearing the guitar Definitely. itself, and uh, I'm behind this shield for COVID's sake. And thank you, Henning, for making this event so safe. Um, so I'm not actually hearing the direct sound like you are, but you guys at home, you will be hearing that direct sound. And I'd be really keen to know what you lot think of how this thing sounds. Did the plexi tone sound like a plexi? 
does the acoustic sound sound like an acoustic? Let us know in the comments down below. But let's just quickly have a look at this feedback thing, if that's not too much of a, a hassle to jump straight back into that. I know I'm sorry to, to move around at random, <laughs> but this is really amazing. Uh, uh, when you try it, you've tried it, I, I take yes, it. Yes, yes. Did you, did it feel to you? Because that's the thing with guitar players, mm -hmm. we like to know what, what it actually feels like. Because everybody can hear and you can say, yeah, that sounds like a plexi tone, but mm -hmm. under the fingers, you know what it actually should feel like. What did you find with that? It felt like the real deal. We, when I first tested it, it was going through a uh, flat response speaker. speaker. Right, okay. And it felt great. Yeah. It felt like the real, you could, if you were happy enough to take a laptop with you and a foot switcher, yeah. if you needed a fly rig for whatever reason, it would do the job nicely and you wouldn't feel like you're losing out. Brilliant. On anything. So, say comparing, uh, well, first of all, let me ask a, a very, very key point. I don't know if anybody's asked you yet. How much is it? So, the the main software, the pedal board with all the M sims, it's like uh, uh, 199. 199. And you get all everything except the feedbacker. We're going to see it's, it's a separate plugin, uh, which is available for 79. At 79, that is really, really budget friendly as well. So definitely for people playing in a bedroom uh, and even up to semi-pro studio, and let's face it, if we're honest, some of the pro studios, some of the things they do to get tones anyway, yeah. and for that price, pro studios might as well have it as yeah. well. That is incredible. Okay, marvelous, so 199, that's amazing. Yeah. Well, with all the features, I think it's just generally some some softwares kind of make you. There's a paywall. Yes. To get into that, and it's already almost that that price. But that is just it. You get it in the in the box. I'm 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 actually astounded. I was expecting in the hundreds, higher hundreds. Yeah. Well, the the idea is that you pay for the for the software, and then you get everything. I mean. All the plugins listed are built in, so you don't have to pay for them. So there's no extra, extra add-on. There's no either, surprise. So. There's, there's, there's no surprise. You get it. Wow. Get everything at the same time. The whole lot for 199. Yes, and if you want all the guitar plugins, so which includes also the uh, feedback we're going to look at and yeah. the uh, re-head plugin, which simulates the head response to play with headphones. Yeah. Uh, plus a few more. It's 300. Uh, 299. Right, well I'll tell you what, just based on the multiple amps and being able to find my tone in two minutes, you can sign me up for a copy, I'll buy a copy. Right, let's have a listen to this feedback. Yes. So just play sustain note and... Gary Moore. Yeah, oh yeah, wow. <laughs> got a bit of a natural decay it, it yep. won't just go on forever like a yeah. sustainiac or that's oh sorry i turned the wrong one down let's turn it to that that is incredible um and yesterday when i that game he had it on a foot switcher didn't you so you, you can yeah you can it activate way. it by the foot because here it's on always okay but the idea is uh sometimes you just want to trigger it just for one note and so you just push the button and that's it and for live that would be really important so another important question is at the moment we're using it through a software DAW, a, a digital audio workstation, yeah. but ha has it also got a standalone mode so that you can just load it up onto a laptop and yes. use a MIDI controller yes. to trigger that's it? That's what we, we showed yesterday, mm -hmm. yeah. Brilliant. Wow. Versatile. Is there any more tricks you want to show us? Uh, yeah, we've got um, a nice delay and reverb with, which can do uh, crazy effects. I okay. told you about. So let, let's pick one. There you go, it's a clean tone. Okay. 
clean tone. Oh, just one minute. I have to set up the. That's Henning's settings. <laughs> there you go. Lovely delays, really nice, and a nice reverb on that as well. Let's try another one. I love the tail of that, that tail. Mm -hmm. the That's another one. So th this one has two nice. auto was in the feedback loop. So it, it, and it's so it's moving. Yeah, it is. Awesome. That is really ethereal. Now that is usable. Now that is a usable tone. Yeah. And I think that's the most important thing with yeah. these. With, the, with anything like this, when it comes to software, do you find what you really wanted to do is out of the box, do away with all the silly, messy sounds and just get me, get me a nice, clean, fendery type tone. And I know we're not allowed to speak of um, <laughs> names, but it's in there, let's be mm -hmm. honest. Um, a nice crunchy plexi tone, a JCM or a, a BE100 lead tone with absolutely beautiful um, reverbs and a, a few clever delays, and that's what, what most guitarists need, and it's usable. With the, all the extra stuff though as well, I agree that some of it can be a bit like, oh, it's not there, but you're saying as a studio tool, to yep. have the option, oh. you never know what you'll need, and absolutely. to create pads and synthetic kind of sounds to have that in, within the same place. It, for people that want to Those use Those that it, might yeah. never think they need it might end up using it. Yeah, true. There's creative uses for it. The, I love that open-mindedness. That is, you're course, really right. You're, you're, I'm, I'm, you're I'm totally like, right. I'm like you though, I'd like to have my class, the sounds, the classic sounds, the, you know, yeah. bread and butter there, and then you can go from there, you know. Totally. Use I mean, that, the, the, the um, I don't know what you thought, Sam, but that, that tail off on that first reverb. The reverbs are great. Was exquisite. It's got everything I want in it, but then it's also got stuff that you can mess about with. And let's face it, every now and then I do go on to the Mad Moon Cat sound or whatever <laughs> it is and have a bit of a, see if I can come up with something for Instagram. So, um, yeah, that is amazing. Well, look, thank you so much, Guillaume, for uh, showing us the software today. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. A huge thank you to Sam for coming in and, and being my kind of middleman interpreter because <laughs> this, is, this is really fairly sort of not out in my comfort zone. I'm well out of that. So thank you for well, that you as for well, mate. Oh, it's been an absolute pleasure and an absolute joy. I really hope you guys have found something interesting. And at the price that this is, which was a, a total shock to me, um, I can see no reason not to give it a try and uh, certainly the tones I've felt under my fingers have been really really good so as always let me know what you think in the comments a big thank you again to Henning for making this event so safe and also to all the guys that have been switching and working so hard behind the scenes because it is a tough job and they can never get enough thanks so thank you guys as well uh, if you've enjoyed it it can't hurt to subscribe I'll be back very, very soon with the best content I can. But for now, and from 42 Gear Street, Les Deux, I'll see you on the next one. Take good care. Bye.